It's all anybody <laughs> talked about was this season of Love Hate. It was so spectacular. When it all finished up, Lawrence, you know, was it difficult to cope with that? Because you were everywhere. Was, it was that a diff difficult transition? A little bit, because I think after season, um, season three, it really kind of took off and um, went places we never imagined it, it would. Mm. Um, and I remember the last, um, the last week of filming, myself and Tom had to go to Spain to do that Spain montage. And um, it was a very sad time because we knew... Self and Tom knew that this could be the complete end of the show. Yeah, yeah. And I knew that Tom's character got killed off. And um, so on the very last night in Spain, myself, Tom, and um, a few of the crew sat down in a hotel in Marbella. And um, it was weird. We didn't want to leave because we'd wrapped at like three or four in the morning. And we knew that this, is, that this was... could be the very, very end. And, yeah. and I cried going back to the apartment. I was like, ah, oh, it got all emotional. Well, it's because it's not <laughs> no, I, I actually wasn't drunk. I had two, two bottles of beer, but it I just think it's been five years. It's, yeah, and you had to do some charity run the next morning as well, didn't you? Straight home to the morning. Yeah. It's some uh, mad charity. I'd say he wasn't first I across walked, the line. Um, That's why he was crying. Yeah. <laughs> I walked from um, Bundoran to Galway for charity. It, I was crying because of that as well. Yeah. But I had to do that. Oh, that's, a, that's a long way. Yeah. Um, Mary, you played Janet, of course, who met a very grisly end. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was, it was kind of, it was pretty hard to watch. You're yeah. now doing a different role, one that doesn't involve any towels. No, well, it does, actually, <laughs> because it's panto and they take advantage oh, of that. Oh, no, so. you're not. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, so there's a towel in it somewhere. Um, Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's great fun, but I'm not enjoying getting up in the morning doing morning shows because they think that's wrong. Um, <laughs> I just don't understand that. I, I think if you're doing theatre, it should be just the evening and you should have the whole day to yourself to go and prepare. But not in this, no. This is like... And I just can't believe it. I can't believe... Like, it's a whole new world for me, Panto. Sorry, sound man. I know I just banged off a necklace and you said I couldn't wear it. But, uh, well, anyway, it's done now. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking at dancers and things in the Panto and I'm going, how do they do it? I do not know how they do it. Yeah. Apart from the fact that they just... They don't stop eating as well. Which is another well, thing. For energy, they kind of well, need I know, it, I'd eat, imagine. Eating rubbish. I haven't stopped eating And they're all Christmas. like this size. Yeah, and well... Trying to come up. They're just... <laughs> it's kind of this amazing. time of year as well. Johnny, you're in Panto. You've, uh, you you met a grizzly end. And, I did, yeah. And look, now I'd, you're back I got pushed over tights. the balcony and, yeah, I'm wearing tights. I said it would never happen again. So I learned how to fly and I'm doing Peter Pan in the gate, you know. <laughs> Good for you. So, uh, it's great. Look, it's, we're, we're having an amazing time and we got an extension to the 25th of January and it's... It's great. I'm loving every single second of it.